let me take you on a journey a journey to hell on earth a journey to a place called Danan This is the remote Agadin region of eastern Ethiopia, bordering on Somalia. It's an area mired in a guerrilla insurgency and devastated by a lingering drought. As filmmakers, we're on our way to Danan, a camp for displaced persons, to try and show the world how the people of the area are surviving. We're still far from our destination when we spot a group of people walking across the desert, also heading for the camp. They're carrying everything they own, they agree to stop and talk with us. She says, this is our tenth day of walking. We had nothing in our homes, nothing to eat. During our ten days of walking, we stopped in every village and asked people to give us some food. And through begging, we have managed to reach this place. We lost our camels our goats, our sheep, and we don't know what is waiting for us in the shelter. We don't know whether there is going to be food. We have no alternative. We have to travel this way. Two boys and two girls died since we left our homes. My daughter died two days ago. She was 15. We can smell Danan even before we reach it. The skeletal remains of hundreds of animals litter the desert. Although we've been told what to expect, we are still shocked when we see it for ourselves. These are the remains of the most precious possessions the refugees brought with them. The camp lay ahead, and we feared the worst. Here it is, Danan now home to 7,000 people living in tiny huts not even big enough to stand up in. I came here with my wife and children and four of them are now dead. There is no food. I haven't had water in three or four days. There is no water. The boy is now my only child. The only thing remaining is our fate, to die. Abdi wants to show us the condition of his wife, Mariama. She's had nothing to eat in days and has been lying motionless in the hut. He tells us that she doesn't even have the strength to sit up by herself. I would rather lose all my property and still have Mariama. She is a very loving wife, very good to her children. I have been praying all night to get help from my family and wife. I'm in a desperate situation. I don't know what I'm going to do. Without her, we can't live. Even though we knew it wouldn't solve his problems, we gave Abdi much of our food for Mariama and the children. You are looking at all the medicine there is for the 7,000 people of Danan. They have no doctor. They have no nurse. We go to the food storehouse and are confronted by another fiasco. The district administrator, Adin Omar Fetin, explains. <laughs> If I were to distribute the small amount of food left in the storehouse, there wouldn't be a glass, not a glass, for each of the 7,000 people living in the shelters. 
If I distribute that small amount, there could be a riot. Therefore, I've decided to use the small amount of food for distribution to new arrivals only. Some of them have been walking for 15 or 20 days. They are in the most critical need of food. And now we have no water. I don't know what I'm going to do. There are times when I think about hanging myself. The mental agony. I'm sure you must also be having that agony in your minds. You are a living witness. It's our last day in Danan. We're taken to see a woman and her three-year-old son, Kadir. Even without translation, the horror of her words is clear. Each afternoon, just before sunset, we've seen processions of men leaving the camp for the cemetery. We ask permission to join and film them. Today, they're bearing a two-year-old girl named Ambia. Her father is very gracious and welcomes us. He tells us that it is the third child he's lost in the last four months. As I watch the simple ritual, I feel helpless that we've not been able to do anything to aid these people. I feel angry that the world and its bureaucracies have forgotten the people of Danan. It has now been months since we left Danan, and not a day goes by that I don't think of the time we spent there and the fate of the people we met. They chant, God, this is an innocent two-year-old child who has died. Please let her soul rest in heaven. On the day we left Anon, there were over 200 new arrivals. On the day we left Anon, they still had not received a food shipment. On the day we left Anon, they still had no water. On the day we left Anon, three-year-old Kadir died. <laughs>